today I will show you how to make this Y2K effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. All right guys, so here I have clips from New Jeans, How Sweet It Tastes music video. And the first thing we can do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And now before we do anything, let's go to the resolution and make it deferred because this is a Y2K effect. So I really would recommend to have this lower quality. And now what we can do is start adding effects. So the first effect I like to add here is S Glint. Now the settings here will vary very much. I'm just gonna show you in general what I like to do. So I like to make the brightness to 0. 0.5 the threshold to 0.92 let's go to threshold blur and here i like to make it to 11 and the size to 334 and now we can add uni.vhs so here the first thing i like to do is go to tape damage and i like to make the adjust uh, this whatever this says to 1.1 and i like to turn off the pop line frequency to just zero so let's go to color controls now and here i like to change the black level to 12 the saturation to 68, luminance blur to 19.8, and the color mix to 52. And yeah, we can close out of here and close out of here. All right, and now we can add S Glint Rainbow. Now here I like to make the threshold to 0 0.68, just a tiny bit lower. And now let's close it out and let's add Fast Box Blur. And here I like to make the blue radius to just 0 0.3. Now let's add S Flicker. This is not needed, but I just like to have my clips flicker. And here I like to make the amplitude to whatever, like 0 0.26. Now let's add Tint. Now for Tint, you need to go to Map White to and make it to somewhat like purple i guess like something maybe like this yeah and i like to make the amount to tint only 20 percent now let's add deep glow this is kind of like a nostalgic glow effect you know and here i like to make the exposure to like 0 0.07 and now let's add S tint. With this effect, I also like to make it to purple. So let's actually just go here and copy this hashtag. Press Ctrl C. It's okay. Go to tint lights and press Ctrl V. Yeah, just just have this color. The first thing you might see is like, damn, that is very purple. So the way we can do it is actually press E and go to S tint here and go down, down, composite options. And here I like to make it to 25%. Now we can add exposure and here I like to make the exposure to 1.3. The last effect I like to add is curves. Now make one point here and one point here and let's just drag this point a bit down here and this one just a bit up like that. Yeah, perfect. And here we basically have our Y2K effect. Yo guys, real quick, while editing the tutorial, I noticed that I forgot to tell you one more thing and it's that when you go to the effect settings in the deep glow, you need to go to input and set the threshold to 60 because for you it's probably like zero but yeah, you need to set it to 60 if you want to have it like a bit less glowy i guess to bring out that more nostalgia you can press ctrl y and here add motion tile yeah just make the output width here to 75 that's gonna look very nostalgic very y2k i guess i don't know what to say it if you want to save this as a preset you can go to one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and here you can call it like y2k effect i'm gonna call it povicus as well press save whenever you want to add this effect you'll be able to go to effects and presets and type y2k effect Povicus or whatever you would call it and if you guys also want more of this y2k aesthetic effects i guess i could say my best friend Pelly from editing visuals has actually made y2k presets and it's on his editingvisuals.com website so i would really recommend to check it out you can also use code Povicus to save five dollars off there and i really want to show you guys some of the coolest aesthetics you can get like with this y2k effects pack so we can actually turn this effect off right now and go back to full quality because for the Y2K effects pack, you don't even read the full quality and you can press Ctrl Y. And here, if you have the pack, you can type Y2K. And a really cool effect for the style is blurry Y2K halftone. Uh, yeah, this effect looks very nostalgic, like really brings out the nostalgic vibes. Like this is like a frame of like a bird flying in the sky. This is how it looked before and after, just like the nostalgia is insane for me. I don't know, I just really like the difference between these effects. I mean, that is insane. And I was messing around with this pack and I just could not believe like how like nostalgic every look just feels. I also really love the purple y2k halftone like as you can see it's like very blurry has that purple look as well actually insane another crazy effect is pink y2k glint i really recommend to mess around with this effect especially like looks you can get are like similar to like those videos you can see from like nolan or other editors this style is very popping right now because the vhs looks are coming back and this just looks like a vhs y2k effect i don't even know like how to explain it another really cool one is y2k pink crt if you guys like the crt looks meshed in with 
impressive Y2K looks. And of course, you can also get the classic Y2K qualities from this pack. And there are over 30 presets here, and he also includes some extra overlays for you guys. So I would really recommend to check this pack out. It's on editingvisuals.com. And you can also save $5 off if you use code POVICAS on the Y2K FX pack. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed this Y2K style tutorials, then please let me know. And also, if you guys have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.